welcome class. I wanted to do a video on going through the process of completing the square with a uh, example problem. So I have the problem here, it's x squared minus 8x plus 5 is equal to 0. And you can take a moment, pause the video to see if you can factor this. Um, I'm going to assume you've done that. If you look, you, there's going to be no way to uh, write the sum of the factors of 5 so that they add up to negative eight. So this is not gonna be factorable. So we're gonna go ahead and use the steps for completing the square. And the first step is to make sure that it's in this form, x squared plus um, b times x is equal to c. So I wanna get that, I, I basically take this constant term and I'm gonna put it on the other side of the equation. And to do that, I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. So I'm going to be left with x squared minus 8x is equal to negative 5. Now, the second step in the complete the square process is how is to get this. I need to force the left side to be a perfect square trinomial. So I need to um, uh, divide b by 2. divide b by 2, then square it. So what is my b value? My b value is negative 8, negative 8. So maybe I'll put this over on the side because this is like a, so negative 8 divided by 2 is equal to negative 4. And then I need to square the whole thing. So that's going to be equal to 16. Let me um, just make that a little bit smaller so that it doesn't uh, get in the way of my steps here. So I'm going to now add that to both sides of the equation. Add this value to both sides of the equation. So what, what is the value I'm adding to both sides? It's that b value that I divided by 2 and squared, which is 16. So let's do that in another color to just, um, or let's not, uh, plus 16 is equal to um, negative 5 plus 16 is going to be 11. Okay, and now this is the beauty of the complete the square method. I have written this left side now as a perfect square trinomial, which means that I can factor it to x, it's, and it's always going to be this b value divided by 2. So it was negative 4. x minus 4 squared is equal to 11. If you, if you expand this out, you will see that you will get this left-hand side, right? x times negative 4 twice gives you the negative 8x, and x, or negative 4 squared gives you 16. The next step, now we're almost done, is we take the square root of both sides, so you get, let's say with my pink color, x minus 4 is equal to, when you take the square root of something, you must do plus minus square root of 11. And this we can't simplify anymore. So my final answer is going to be x is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 11.